A couple of years back it was accounted for that Jaguar Land Rover had acquired the James Hull Exemplary Auto Accumulation completely. The gathering is past huge, as it was at the season of offer the greatest single accumulation of British autos on the planet and the biggest private auto gathering in the UK. Comprising of 543 autos, it ran from the unremarkable to the cloud, including some to a great degree uncommon models. There were 130 Jaguars, for instance, from the C-Sort to the B-Sort to the XKSS. At the point when the autos were set available to be purchased in 2014, the asking cost was a not meager $170 million. JLR didn't uncover the amount it spent to purchase the autos. However now it appears the carmaker is going to recover some of those expenses. No less than 50 autos from the gathering will be sold by sales management firm Brightels, as a major aspect of the affordable classics at Bister deal on March 21, a few reports have said JLR would be in the end offloading upwards of 100 autos. Taking a gander at the posting, there are some unmistakable jewels in there. Not all autos are British, as there are Citroëns, Mercedes-Benzes, a Fiat and a Gagnable. Pumas and Land Rovers are remarkably missing from Brightel's posting, which we take as a hint that the deal will comprise of autos not critical to JLR's prosperity and legacy. So, for an admirer of British autos there's a plausibility to snatch something genuinely intriguing, for instance, the Reliant Scimitar Ferguson 4x4 prototype must be worth saving. A 4WD pioneer likewise known for Massey Ferguson tractors. Ferguson fitted its framework in Jensen's and additionally a Model 4 WD Mustang in the 1960s. The fiberglass-bodied Reliant Games Auto is a fascinating sign noting Ferguson's history. At that point there's a Vauxhall Chevette 2300 HS, which is a veritable rally-reared RWD hog bring forth in contrast with the American market Chevrolet Chevette, its removed relative. On the hot bring forth front, there are additionally Metro and Maestro turbos which offer a lot of jab in a light, square-shaped body. Or on the other hand on the off chance that you see the web's prevalent most exceedingly bad cars ever made records as shopping records, you could assemble your own particular accumulation of somewhat dodgy autos, start with the tragic-looking vent in Plas Allegro, proceed to the discomfort-tastic Morris Atel Camper, and complete it off with a late show lot Revo wagon from the mid-1990s. A few autos are fit as a fiddle, and some are best observed as rebuilding ventures similar to the lovely Borgward Isabella Roadster from 1960. It's a given that these autos have been put away for quite a while, and even any easy-going end-of-the-week utilize would require refreshing of liquids, belts and gaskets. Yet, since the autos will be unloaded without a save, it's best to put on an overcome face and get ready to return home with a shabby exemplary.